real with it, y'all. It's your boy Santo G. Back at it. You already know. Spreading unity, prosperity, and respect. But of all, if you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell. It don't cost you nothing and it will help out this channel. So today, I wanted to simply touch on the LA County Jail late nights for homies. And for those of y'all, if y'all ain't never been through the system, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. So, seven days a week, Monday through Sunday, or like my boy Lefty Gunplay says, Tuesday to Tuesday, it's a 10 to 10 program. That means from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., you're able to talk, chill like normal. But when it's from the hours after 10 p.m. and before 10 a.m., anytime you're around the bunk areas, you have to whisper. If you're talking to somebody, you better talk to the bare minimum. You guys are next to each other, whispering in each other's ear. That's why if you guys have never heard the saying about they call Supermax Whispermax, that's where the saying came from. Because if it's after 10 p.m. and say you're chilling right in the bunk with your homeboy, a homeboy from your vario just rolled up and you guys right there chilling, right? You guys are telling stories and he says a funny one and you ah, ha, 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 start cracking up, right? Where you make a scene, you're gonna get broken off because you're supposed to keep it down. So I know it sounds kind of harsh, like man, 10 to 10, like that's rough. Having somebody on you, you know what I mean? So what the homies do is on Friday nights, and sometimes on Saturday nights as well, but for sure Friday nights. They, you gonna hear this. Radio, radio, radio. Sureños y camaradas. Well, tonight is a late night. Let me just say, although it is a late night, please be aware of your surroundings. Please have courtesy for anybody near you trying to go to sleep. Although you may be being up, stay up. If you see that there's somebody sleeping, do me a favor, go somewhere else. Don't crowd around areas where there's people sleeping. Keep it to a bare minimum. Don't let these hoodies get on our ass. And with all that being said, you guys enjoy your late night. Tonight is a late night. Gracias, no response. Boom. That goes to pretty much let you know, hey, tonight is a late night. And let me say, from doing time in the county, I know from the outside looking in, you guys are like, man, what? Like, that ain't nothing special. And let me tell you that those late nights, man, they help. They help. You got people over here making a little pruno, getting drunk. You got some people doing calditz. Some people getting tatted. You know what I mean? The tattoos that I got. All my legs were actually done during a late night. And it was picked by my homeboy from the hood. He picked both my legs right there. He did the ING on one side. And then he did the 3CE on the other side. The first time that I ever tried Garga, the first time I ever tried heroin, was during a late night little caldito and then the homie started peeking with a staple pencil lid a little bit of soap and water that's how i got the tattoos on my on my chins on my legs and that's how i got the three dots on my eye he did the three dots that same day too but let me tell you those late nights for anybody that's in there facing life, facing large amounts of time, going to court Monday through Friday, going through them struggles, trials and tribulation, man, let me tell you them late nights is when you could finally, finally get to relax a little bit because it's late at night, right? Where you would normally be asleep, normally there won't be nobody out. Now you're walking and there's little, 
walkways in between the bunks. You see two homies on one bunk facing each other, you know what I mean? Like boom, on this bunk, two homies on the other bunk, and then there's somebody sitting on the curb. You walk all through, you see the Southeast car, the South Los car, the Northeast LA car, you see the West Side car, you see the East Los car. You see all these different ranflas, some playing pinnacle spades, like I said, some drinking, some partying, and you see some people right there on the phone, you know what I mean? Cupcaking, like, what's up, baby? I miss you. I miss you too. Like, oh, what you doing? You know what I mean? What you got on? Type shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's stuff that I think it helps. It helps with a person's momentum. It helps with everything, you know what I mean? You're just your state of mind. And like I said, man, it feels like the streets. That's the closest you're gonna get to the streets. Some nights it was popping to the point where over here, get a little couple drinks of Pruno. I go down here, they're having a spread over here, you know what I mean? Cause that's what happens. Some people spread, some people play games, some people be on the phone, some people draw, some people get tatted on. You know what I'm saying? You be amazed at the stuff that you walk into. But it's all homies bonding, creating memories and bonds, man, that last a lifetime, you know what I'm saying? That's why I wanted to share this story as far as the LA County Jail late nights for homies and how that helps. You got the brothers, some of them be rapping, you know what I mean? The little raps, I'm pretty sure Rowdy Rags and all them, you know what I mean? When they were in there late night, like, hey, homie, spit some raps. I'm pretty sure he was right there flowing, you know what I mean? I seen his indicted interview and he was talking about they would always tell him to flow. And it's like that. Upstate, they also have a late night and upstate is to the point where you're in your cell. When I was in Chino, right? You're in your cell, so it's not like if you're able to go out. But what they do is on Fridays, it would be us and on Saturdays it would be the brothers. We just leave the tier open, say from 10 at night to like 12 or 1 in the morning, right? The tier's open and it'll be like Spensan la tira, sureños, camarada, si. This is Santo in cell 113. I wanted to spit a roll out for you guys. Eso. Everybody quiet down and then it'll just get quiet and then I'll just start, you know what I mean? Spitting whatever rap. Actually right there you couldn't really rap. It was more corridos, oldies, um, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Here and there they'll let people rap but I don't know why. Anybody that knows why rap was banned in the late nights as far as being able to say rap songs on the tier, let me know why. But there'll be people getting off, man. Woods will be getting off, homies will be getting off, man. And just vibing, you know, just chilling in the cell, like just listening to a whole like little scene of American Idol type. You know what I'm saying? If they were able, right, to be able to go inside and record a prison and they record a late night, one late night, right? Of the blacks and the homies and the woods one late night right of them like that singing and all that on the tier i'm pretty sure that will go viral and you trip out the amount of talent that is in there you know what i'm saying it's your boy santo g man i appreciate you guys tapping in with me man shout out killer kush do me a favor check them out on ig at killer kush underscore underscore 420 Shout out my good people at Cali Herbs Los Angeles. Check them out on IG at Cali Herbs Official. Shout out my good people at Hate Art Extracts. Check them out as well at Hate Art Extracts number one. And if you guys are looking for any kind of pups, Frenchies to be exact, check out my good people at Frenchie Bro Kennels. That's Frenchie underscore bro underscore kennels on IG. Let them know Santo G sent you and they are gonna get you right, man. Top of the line quality. Shots up to date, paperwork in hand, and everything. Let's get it, y'all. And if you guys are looking for any of those brands of Zaw, get at me personally on IG. If you're in the LA area, I'll pull up on you myself, man. Let's get it.